Merhaba arkadaşlar, how are you guys? I hope you're great. Welcome to my channel. My name is Resh and I'm running a YouTube channel that is all about languages. And in today's video, we're gonna learn some Turkish. If you're into that kind of stuff, make sure to hit the subscribe button to stay tuned and also follow me on Instagram. In today's video, we're gonna be learning the Turkish numbers and how to say someone what time it is and also ask someone what time it is, okay? Especially in today's video, I want you to take notes with the numbers because I'm going to be practicing with you a lot and I want you to actually know all the numbers in Turkish by the end of this video because I'm going to also give you a lot of practicing tools. We're going to be practicing a lot in this video. Now I know some videos are a little bit harder to understand because Turkish is so different but believe me this video is quite easy. It's going to be a lot of fun and it's going to be understandable. It's going to be comprehensible because no Numbers in Turkish are pretty easy, especially if you compare it to languages like French or German or something. So yeah, if you're ready, let's start. So in one of my previous videos, I already gave away the first 10 numbers. The first 10 numbers? What, what is that? <laughs> let's just start counting, okay? And repeat after me. I'll give you a second after I say uh, the number and then you start with me. Bir, bir, iki, iki. Üç, üç, dört, dört, beş, beş, altı, altı, yedi, yedi, sekiz, sekiz, dokuz, dokuz, on, on. Now that we know the numbers from one to ten, which are, let's uh, repeat them real quick. Bir, iki, üç, dört, beş, altı, yedi, sekiz, dokuz, on. We already did a great job, okay? And you know why? Because the other numbers are super easy to just combine. Now, if I want to say, let's say, 11, all I do is take the 10 and add the 1. And there are no exceptions. It's just on, which is 10, and then bir, which is 1. So you just say 10 and 1. On bir. If you want to say 15, you just say 10 and 5. On besh. Okay. On besh. 10 and 5, which is 15. To be able to say the higher numbers, you will just have to know how to say 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, and 90. If you know those, I'm going to give them to you right now so that we have them all covered. Yirmi would be 20. Yirmi. 30 would be otuz. Otuz. 40 would be kırk. Kırk. Elli would be 50. Elli. Altmış would be 60. Altmış. Yetmiş would be 70. Yetmiş. Eighty would be 80. 80. And 90 would be 90. 90. So if you want to say 75, all you got to do is take 70 and 5, just as we have in English. So you would go 75. 75. If you want to say 43, you would go 43. 43. If you want to say 21, you would say 21. Okay? If you want to say how old you are, all you got to do is say ben and then your age and then yaşındayım. Let's say I'm 27, I would go ben 27 yaşındayım. You can even omit the ben which stands for I and just say the number and then yaşındayım. 27 yaşındayım. 27 yaşındayım. 27 yaşındayım. I'm 27. If you want to ask someone how old he or she is, you would say kaç yaşındasın? Kaç yaşındasın? How old are you? This would be informal. If you ask someone you don't know personally, you would be a little bit more formal and say, Kaç yaşındasınız? Kaç yaşındasınız? And then if someone asks you that, you can reply with your age. Let's say you're 35. You would say, 35 yaşındayım. 35 yaşındayım. If you want to say 100, you would just say, 100. 100 stands for 100. Use. If you want to say 200, 300, 400, 500, you just take the numbers 2, 3, or 4 and then add them to use. So if you want to say 200, you say 200, just like the same thing in English. 200, 300, 200, 
and it goes on and on and on. If you want to say a thousand, don't forget to take your notes here, otherwise you're going to be confused. If you want to say a thousand, you would say bin, bin. By the way, there is no way of saying 1,000. So you wouldn't say bir bin, that doesn't exist. You would just say bin for a thousand. The same with use. You wouldn't say 100 and say bir use, that doesn't exist. You would just say use, okay, a hundred. So bin would be a thousand. And then if you wanna say 2,000, again, the same rule, you just take the number two and say iki bin. Okay, if you want to say 2,000, iki bin. Now, repeating, 1 to 10 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, And then 100 would be 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 900. And then 1,000 would be 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000, 9,000, 10,000, 10,000, 10,000, and so on. And now we basically know all the numbers. If you've taken all your notes, we can practice together now. So now I'm gonna give you some numbers on the screen. If you have your notes, we're gonna be able to practice this right now. So take a look at this number and tell me how you would pronounce it. Yedi. That was easy, right? Yedi. What about this one? What did you say? Yirmi beş. Okay, how about this one? Very good. What about this one? Did you get that one right? Very good. What about this? Very good. Let's make it a little bit more complicated, huh? What about this number? How about this one? How about this? Yediyus. Yediyus. Very good. How about this one? Dokuzyus doksan dokuz. Very good. Dokuzyus doksan dokuz. What about this? Okay, let's go to larger numbers. What about this? Bin yirmi üç. Bin yirmi üç. How about this one? Bin yedi yüz altmış yedi. Bin yedi yüz altmış yedi. How about this? Üç bin dokuz yüz elli dört. Üç bin dokuz yüz elli dört. Okay, that one was not so easy maybe, I don't know. Um, yeah, but I hope you like the way of practicing and I hope uh, you really get it when we talk about it, okay? Now I also want you to take the notes in case you want to say the first, the second, the third. Let's say you want to say the first person that I talked to today was blah, blah, blah. You wouldn't say the one person, you would say the first, right? So we would need another word in Turkish for that. Bir as we just talked about, was one, right? But if I want to say the first, we would say the first, birinci, ikinci, the second, üçüncü, the third, dördüncü, the fourth, beşinci, the fifth, altıncı, the sixth, yedinci, the seventh, sekizinci, the eighth, dokuzuncu, the ninth, onuncu, the tenth. 
This is the fifth man that I saw today. Bu bugün gördüğüm beşinci adamdı. Beşinci, the fifth, okay? Take the notes of these words as well. They're important. Now, how can I ask someone the time? I want to know what time it is, and I go up to someone and I say, Pardon, excuse me, saat kaç? What time is it? Saat kaç? Well, you're basically saying, what hour is it in Turkish? Saat kaç? And now you could just go, saat bir. It's one o'clock. Saat bir. We just learned the numbers, right? Saat bir. If you want to say it's seven o'clock, you can go saat yedi. Saat dokuz. It's nine o'clock. Now, if you want to also add the minutes, it's also pretty easy. Let's say you want to say it is one twenty. Okay, you say saat biri yirmi geçiyor. Biri yirmi geçiyor. If you want to say twelve past two, you go saat iki on iki geçiyor. Saat iki 12 get you. Now we have a word for half past and half two. Let's say half past five, okay? So 5.30. You can either say in Turkish saat beş otuz, which is literally, it is 5.30. But you can also say half past five, which would be beş buçuk, which is the normal way to say it. We wouldn't say beş otuz, like 5.30. We would just say beş buçuk, which is half past five. We don't have half two. We just have half past. So uh, whenever you want to express 30, you would always use the number. Let's say it is 5.30, you would go beş buçuk. Let's say it is half past seven, you would say yedi buçuk. It is half past ten, you would say on buçuk. Saat on bir buçuk. It is 11.30, it is half past 11. Well, generally, I mean, we have the 24-hour system. We don't have PMs and AMs in Turkish, so it goes 1, 2, 3, up until 24, right? But we generally don't use the numbers after 12. Like, it is not so normal to say it is 16.35 in Turkish. We would just say 4.35, right? And to express PM or AM, we would just say, uh, we wouldn't, we actually never say it, unless we want to actually put emphasis on it and say, I see you tomorrow at 4 p.m. and I want to emphasize that it's not a.m. then it would probably say aksham which means evening even though it's not really evening at 4 p.m. but we would just say it that way we would never use the 60 well we can some people do but it's not so common okay it would probably be the correct thing to do but we generally don't do it even though we don't have p.m.s and a.m.s in Turkish so yeah we also have quarters we have quarter past and quarter two with the halves we only have half past, but with the quarters, we have quarter past and quarter two, which is çeyrek. Çeyrek means quarter. If you want to say it is quarter past three, you would say üçü çeyrek geçiyor. Üçü çeyrek geçiyor. Okay? Reminding you, it would be geçiyor would be the correct version of pronouncing the word. I mean, pronouncing the R at the end of the word, but we generally don't do it. We just say geçiyor. So, if in case you're wondering why I'm not pronouncing some R's at the end of some words, especially at the end of conjugated verbs, when they end in R, we generally don't pronounce them, so we would just say geçiyor. Saat üçü çeyrek geçiyor. It is half past three, okay? If I want to say it is quarter to three, then I would say Üçe çeyrek var. Üçe çeyrek var. Even the suffix of the number, of the first number, üç, changes if I use it that way. Be careful. Üçe çeyrek var would be quarter to three, but if I say quarter past three, it would be üçü çeyrek geçiyor. Now I'm going to give you some examples and you're going to tell me what time it is, okay? Now, here we go. Okay, here we go. It is one o'clock, so it would be saat bir. Now that would be half past two, which is iki buçuk. Saat iki buçuk. So this will be quarter past seven, and we would say yedi çeyrek, saat yedi çeyrek geçiyor, or we would say yedi on beş. Yedi on beş would be easier. You can just actually just say the numbers, and that would be totally comprehensible. So you could just say, if it's 
12, 16, you could just say 12, 16. That would just work, 12, 16. Everybody would understand that. It doesn't sound wrong, it doesn't sound weird, everything's fine. So you have the past somethings as geçiyor and the two somethings var, okay? So 12 past seven would be 7, 12 geçiyor or just 7, 12. And 12 to seven would be 7, 12 var or you could say 6, 48, which would be 6, 48 or 6, 48 geçiyor. All right, again, a video where we learned so many things. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Leave your comment in the comment section about the video. Make sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell in case you want to receive notifications whenever I post a new video. I'll see you guys in another video. Till then, take care!